This is tutorial number 17 in our JavaScript series and in this tutorial we're going to talk about try and catch statements. So try and catch statements is uh, for JavaScript catching errors on a browser. You know when all those times you're browsing a web page on the internet and we've all seen that JavaScript alert box telling us that there's a runtime error and you need to debug or whatever so we usually quit the page directly so this message is kind of uh, more useful for the developer more than the user because the user get disinterested right away so in this uh, video I'm going to teach you how to handle that error so you don't have to lose your audience because of kind of errors or whatever and let me tell you something there's two types of catching errors in a web page it's either by using a try catch statement and this is compatible by Internet Explorer 5 plus or Mozilla 1.0 plus and uh, uh, oldly which is no longer uh, which is Netscape 6 uh, plus and there's the old standard which is the using on error statement which is uh, earlier in the web page history so the try catch statements uh, our, our first target and uh, we're going to give a lot of examples, it's going to be a little tricky but that'll, it's going to help you to uh, cover a lot of stuff at one time so try to focus as much as, much as you can so what am, I what am I going to provide you it's an example that displays a confirm box to display a custom message to tell the user that they can click OK to continue viewing the web page or cancel to go to their home page. So if a confirm is uh, clicked, it's going to go back to the home page. If a cancel is clicked, then the code redirects the user. So uh, I think uh, we should pl uh, put the JavaScript in the head part. So we're going to make a variable txt and we're going to initialize that variable to empty and we're going to make a function called message. The function message uh, doesn't take any parameters and we're going to start that function as following. We're going to make a try and we're going to open the braces and we're going to put add alert Uh, and we're going to put a uh, welcome guest so we're going to close that and close our try statement and we're going to catch uh, error and we're going to put txt uh, equals there was an error on this page backslash n backslash n and we're going to close the message and we're going to make a txt plus equals uh, click Okay, to continue viewing this page. So, and a backslash n. So, this is kind of lengthy, but it'll get together. Uh, txt plus equals uh, or cancel. Uh, to return to the main page so I think you're kind of getting the main idea and I hope uh, this goes with us somewhere important so if not confirm txt what do we do? Um, we document uh, the right. Uh, 
hold on, no, not document dot right. We need to go back to the browser as we agreed before. So the document dot right dot href equals http two points www dot coder island dot com backslash form so let's close that out and let's close our if statement let's close our catch statement and let's close our function and we already have the script closed let me go to the body part of the html now and let me put an input and in that input i'm going to make it of type button and let me put a value and the value is view message so and on click it calls that message it calls a function message so I think basically this is it let me close the input box and the body is closed let me run that and I hope that works so I have the new button, I press it and uh, nothing happens let me check that that is supposed to display let me check uh, So let me go ahead and run that. I'm going to run that in Firefox. And let me click the button, view message. If I click OK, nothing happens. If I click cancel, then it's redirecting as you're seeing right here to the main page of Quarter Island. So let me go back to Dreamweaver why did, did it catch the error cause I misspelled alert if I wrote alert this way then nothing would have happened so let me try this right here welcome guest see nothing happened it skipped everything the try catch statement and it went to the welcome guest alert so I think uh, basically that's it on our try catch statement. I hope you benefited from this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you got any questions, ask them on the forum and thank you.